let's review how to navigate and update our task templates. First, we're gonna head over to our three line icon. We're gonna navigate down to our hammer icon and we're gonna select templates. From here, we're gonna locate and select our task templates. On this main screen for task templates, we're gonna see the ability to categorize or select a category for our task templates. We'll be able to sort our templates. It's gonna show us a list of all the task templates we have currently. We can drag and drop those tasks into whatever order that we need to. That's gonna update that list here. We can also select add new if we wanna create a new task template. If you're customizing your account or customizing the task templates we already have, you can immediately select edit and get into these task templates. If you're looking to import your task templates, we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom of this left-hand navigation, select new import, here for the import type, we're gonna select task template. The main things that you need on that CSV file is gonna be the task name and the description. You can go ahead and not use the rest of these unless you need these other options. But the main stuff that we want is the name of that task and the description. Heading back to our task templates, let's go ahead and open up a task template. Here we'll select this edit button. We also have the options here to clone or delete this task template if needed. Selecting our edit is gonna open up that task template. At the top, we can add in a new task if we need to by just selecting add task. Here we can enter the title of it and select add. We can mark it as critical or pinned. We can add on our date um, calculation for this task or associate it with another task that's already existing. Go ahead and say cancel to close out of that screen. We can also select sort tasks to see a list of our task view here or we can select refresh tasks in case we need to refresh our task list. If we select this arrow here, this is gonna expand those task cards on each one of the task cards that are below here. Here we'll be able to see whether or not you can add on a condition. This is available for those who are on the scale plan. You can add on different tags or different roles if you need to. You can also add this task to say that we wanna push it over to that follow-up boss integration if you are a follow-up boss user. When we select this option, there's a couple more settings that pop up as well. Other than the task cards and expanding them, we have a couple options here that we're gonna go over in just a moment. 